Hello and welcome to PC Basic introduction video. In this video today we will introduce how to set an order on PC Basic website. Now the first thing we need to do is to actually enter the PC Basic website. We'll do that by writing pcbasic.com. Now the first result will be PCB manufacturer Shenzhen PCB assembly factory. Let's click on that. This will reach to the PC Basic website. Now, as we can see, the website is very detailed and includes a lot of different kinds of information. Over here, we have online quote, service, solution, product, block, support, and company. Now, if you haven't done so, I will suggest to start by actually registering an account before you set an order. You will have the option to either sign in or create an account. I will sign into my existing account. And you can click the keep me sign in in order to keep the session on and once you sign in into the account it will be login successful over here I can see my existing orders and if I go to PC basic website I can see that my account is already logged in there is nothing to worry about that now from here on we can go to online quotation PCB prototype or PCB stencil depend of the service you want you might choose PCB prototype or PCB stencil for our example, I would like to set a PCB prototype. Now, for the product name, let's choose something simple. I will choose a test product. Now, the quantity I want to make. Basically, if you're doing a sample quantity, you would want to go anywhere from 5 to 10 pieces. For my sample quantity, I will do 10. Let's write test sample product. Now, over here, it will ask you single-sided or double-sided SMD. I will choose double sided SMD, which means I want to do the SMD process on the two sides of the PCB, which is basically refers to the PCB assembly process. Over here it has a panel array, we can do collage, which means they will create an array of PCBs, not just a single PCB at a time. Now, pool material type, this kind of type is made out of the material of the boom, so it means how many components you actually have on the boom. For this example, I will write 10. You will need to get this out of your boom material. Total of components, let's say 10 as well. Number of ICs, let's say 5. And deep soldier joints, let's say 3. Now, for this one is the PCB type. We have a hardboard, softboard, soft and hard combined. For my example, I will choose a hardboard. Uh, the delivery time, there is a normal delivery or the first one. The first one is obviously will be a little bit more expensive, but for just the explanation example I will choose a normal delivery time for other remarks we can set some more information we would like to make like for example there is no rush on delivery take your time or if you choose fast delivery please create and deliver it ASAP now we will leave this for our example, the FS delivery within 48 hours. And basically we are ready to go. Here we can see the estimated price. Now, something to mention is that the boom material type, the boom components, if we made some mistakes over here, it doesn't really matter because the PC basic team will actually review each and every order manually and ensure that everything is right. You will get the quotation here based on what you enter. But if you made a mistake, the price might be different from what you see here. Now we write submit for quotation form. Once we submit it, it will ask us for more information such as quantity, everything we already enter basically, width and height, we'll write 10 on 10, uh, 100 on 100, which is basically 10 centimeters on 10 centimeters. Over here, it will ask us to upload the PCB file and the test we would like to make during the fabrication process. Um, over here we have the remaining material processing method so return the order send to customer and so on and the remark that we made previously on we can submit by confirming right now I don't have any PCB file to submit so I will not upload it but as I already set an order previously on once you click confirm the order it will actually go to your account and you will see it here with the order status will change to receive an order and then it will show you that the order total is this and this amount and you will need to pay the amount 
Now, there are many ways to pay it. You can pay by offline payment, or you can pay online with PayPal or some other one-click post. After you receive, after they receive the order and they confirm the price, and then you basically what you do is you set the order you want. You go to offline payments or wherever payment you make, you make the payment, and once you ensure that you make the payment successfully, it will process to the order processing step. Here we can see the production and the patch and the plugin package and shipping. So basically you will see a real-time update of each and every process as it goes through PCB assembly website. Right here we can see the basic parameters, we can see the file we uploaded and the production requirement. Now for stencil order if you have it will also show here you can choose to set both stencil and PCB or just one of the above. PCB also includes PCB if you choose to include it, but it doesn't have to be. That's it for today's video. That's how you set an order with PCB website. And while you set the order, you will get real-time updates, real-time confirmation, and it's very easy to go. If you have any questions or any concerns, right here we have the information of PC Basic. You can either contact them by email or by Skype, up to your convenient use. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learn how to use PCP website to set your next order. See you next time.